Are you guys just tired of being a level zero dollars? Tired of just having to take showers with your uncle? Wondering why the milky gave you taste weird? Well, you've clicked on the right video. Also, I just want to give a quick shout out to Expose for helping me and showing me most of his glitches. He's a speedrunning god. Go check him out. But anyways, enough waffling and uh, let's get straight to the video. So we got Go Simulator, but it's day two from the contract himself, Vlad. So the first thing you actually want to do is once on day two is pick up the girl over here. This glitch right here, when he showed me this, it completely shocked me, by the way. I was, I didn't believe this was all real. So what you want to do, pick up the girl, come to this truck area where you get the car in the, near the end. And you want to like lime, you want, you want to jump and throw the girl at the same time. And then he shoot, like you want his head to be stuck near this tire like area. What you want to do is just shoot the girl. You don't have to aim you want to just shoot it normally i've been aiming which fucked up everything you just want to shoot normally without aiming and it, you should get it the only issue i had was trying to get the car out because it's pretty difficult you have to keep shooting apparently but so what was best for me here was that i just bring the car out a bit went all the way around to the other side if you shoot the sentry gun from the other side you'll get it stuck inside but you want to go around place down the sentry gun and shoot it out and uh, the car will go flying if you have it land upside down you want to try and flip it upside the right side up and then once you've done that you can literally just escape straight away you don't even need to put all the 14 goats or depending on what difficulty you want if you want death center this is 14 goats but you don't have to put all the goats in the cage and you can just escape once you get the car out you can just leave straight away which i found this glitch right here where you showed me this i couldn't believe it yeah that is gold simulator day two glitch so the diamond heist glitch guys this glitch is so easy to do i'll say good simulator and this glitch right here is probably the two easiest glitches to do the rest are going to be pretty difficult and you're going to see why but what we're going to do is just follow where i'm going i went the wrong way here so you just want to follow where i'm going and uh, uh, go right here and then you want to come to this flower point this is where you're going to glitch this is you're going to glitch into the vault from this flower point you want to line up like this the way i have it on the on the screen right now you want to line up like this and just keep jumping and like moving forward and eventually you should fall like slightly down into the vault area just like that and uh it's so easy to get out all you need is the indice rounds arbiter just shoot twice i'm pretty sure i don't know why i was there and just shoot twice and you should be good to walk through yeah this glitch is pretty insane but on to the next one this glitch isn't too special but i still want to show you guys anyway all you have to do is just come around here on the jewelry store map make sure you have the indice grenade on not secondary but it's a grenade launch and then just throw it and jump at the same time and if you keep doing it eventually you should make it over the fence and uh yeah this, this glitch is nothing special it's on to the next glitch anyway so now we have watch dogs i personally do not play this heist at all it's not my favorite at all but yeah he did show me a way on how to glitch out of that truck area but i do struggle i don't know how he did it he showed me that you can glitch out of the quick but yeah you want you all you want to do is just come over here shoot the car with any weapon into it you see smoke coming out of it that's how you know you've done it correctly this apparently just saves time but it's still considered like a glitch because i'm pretty sure all the developers did not have it intended that you're able to break the car like this and yeah once you see smoke coming out of the vehicle that means you can just leave on the helicopter make sure you you bring a bag with you otherwise you will soft lock it's all yeah you basically soft lock day two you cannot do anything even if you restart the game will still spawn you in with no bags so you're pretty much soft lock so make sure you have like four bags or something and yeah on to the next glitch Okay, we have prison nightmare. I mean, no, no, safe house nightmare. Okay, my oh, eyes mixed up. Yeah, I didn't have it fully clipped, so I couldn't show you the intro. But you can glitch in if you place the sentry gun like this, where I've placed it. You can use the indice rounds or the non no, without indice rounds. And uh, yeah, you just take all the four bags and leave. Like this glitch is simple, straightforward. Not maybe really much to say. So let's move on to the next one. Okay, so now we have a car shop glitch. Make sure you guys bring the double akimbo judge shotgun i mean you can't do the full version of this glitch on console sadly only if you're on pc and i think you have to be like high fps to pull this off and since that's console is 30 fps you cannot pull off the full version of this glitch but i'm still going to show you guys uh half of the glitch and i still kind of i'm shocked so what you want to do enter the car shop break the glass set the car on fire if you have more or so just do as much damage to it so it says repair basically so what you want to do is just keep damaging the car and then once the car is damaged enough you should have the option 
to repair it pop up and you want to repair the vehicle once you've done that you can see it's ready to go but you can't actually drive it oh well, you actually can but i'm pretty sure you need to place down a sentry gun and uh shoot the arbiter grenade launcher at it so it can actually i tried leaving thinking that you can't leave a car from the car but you have to do this method first to leave make sure you kill all civilians nearby because sometimes the sentry gun does lock onto civilians which is also a weird thing as well i don't know why it does that anyways you want to shoot the car with the sentry gun and we'll go flying i got my one stuck again so uh, i think i had to do it again I, I can't remember if i restarted here okay yeah i think i've done it again i just placed on a limit sentry gun and then uh, sent it flying for a second time there we go <clears throat> all right so now what you want to do here is drive to where the location is but you're not actually able to do the full glitch on console by the way guys because as i said there is a certain section if you're on a higher fps it will work if you're on pc you just carry on doing what i'm doing right here uh you want to place down another sentry gun and then shoot and it should actually glitch through the floor the car but because you're on console you can't actually if you're on console you can't do this next step if you are on pc you can do this so what is supposed to happen is that you're supposed to come to these red things right here not this one i was just trying to i was trying to find a way to see if i can get it to was what you want to do because on console if you shoot these red things while standing on it it just disappears but on pc high fps if you shoot it it will actually like shake a bit and stay in the ground and you want to melee it twice and it should glitch you through the map floor and you're actually able to get back into your car and carry on just to escape so i was just trying to test it out before to find a way to actually glitch through it but i couldn't find a method if you guys do know any methods on how to glitch through this be sure to let everyone know in the description so you can actually pull off this glitch on console the full version but yeah that's how far i could take you but yeah on to the next one so first of all bank you can actually have to have this rng where the vault is on the left side and the server rooms on the left side for this to actually work perfectly i mean you can still do this glitch it doesn't matter what side of the server room is okay so once you have the key card for the server room you want to open up the door i personally am going to say this right now i don't think this glitch is too beneficial in my in my opinion but i'm still going to show you guys anyway uh, it's pretty it, it, like difficult to get into and you just want to spam the i spammed jump crouch and ran forward but if you keep doing this eventually you should get outside of the map on top of the server room which is pretty insane and then i'll show you guys do next i just want to point out that you can do this on both sides of the server room by the way you can do this glitch and it will work it should take you up but this side is the side that you want you will now have the vault and the server room on this side so basically you want to do this run i just fucked it up completely so yeah i just fell all the way down and just died but basically you want to actually go back like walk back a bit until you're able to like run and you want to run on top of the lift and then once you get on top of the lift you should be above like the vault like the vault side room area and you want to keep walking until you like go to the ceiling maybe vault area that's downstairs and you should just glitch through into the map all right that is all the glitches that i'm going to show you guys for today if you guys want more let me know i'm probably going to still do more if you don't want any more but yeah i know i did miss beneath the mountain i forgot to put that in here but oh yeah i'll save that for next time actually but if you guys want to see more let me know and uh thank you so much exposed for showing me these and uh yeah i'm out guys see you guys next time